Hi, welcome back to Air Engine Research. Um, this is just going to be a short video about uh, how much air is being used in the air engine. I had a request from a subscriber about how much air, and since I don't really have a vehicle I can drive, I have to calculate most of it. Uh, one of the major things that you have to consider is that you can't have any leakage or that will really cut down your distance that you can go. And I did have a major problem with valve leakage until just recently where I uh, was able to design a, a valve body that I use a neoprene washer from a water, a water faucet and make a, a valve and a stem and stuff for putting together that doesn't leak anymore. And then the next thing is uh, what size cylinders you're going to use and then at what pressure you want to run. I thought about using different size cylinders and running like two sets of threes and having like one an inch and a quarter and the other uh, an inch and depending on how much power you need I'd use the big one for more power and then when you're running down the road with just minimal uh, resistance or whatever, then you could use the, the smaller uh, one inch cylinder. And I decided after doing some calculations and stuff that, that I'm going to not do that. Um, I'm currently using a 7 inch diameter cylinder and an inch and an eighth cylinder and I'll show you a, a spreadsheet that I made that you can follow kind of along with. It's not a real good one. I tried twice to scan the thing in and it just doesn't come out real well. Anyway, the uh, the thing is based on the drive pressure at 150 PSI and running the engine at 1682 RPMs. So that means that there's going to be uh, an engine ratio to the transmission is one, and the stroke is one point, almost one and a quarter inch. And the tank size that I'm using is about 21 inches by five foot, and I'm trying to run it at 1100 psi. I don't have a carbon fiber tank or anything where I can go real high pressure, but I do have a air compressor that goes up to 200 psi, and then I use some CO2 gas to boost the pressure up to three or 400 psi for my testing. Uh, I'm using the bottom cylinders right now, which is, is an 875 or a, a 7 8 piston and I'm getting 6.3 foot-pounds of torque at 150 PSI. And based on that size and the RPMs with that amount of uh, pressure in the tank, it should run about 37 miles at a 2 to 1 ratio for tires that I have are two inches in diameter and it takes 841 revolutions to go one mile <clears throat> and I'm running 1682 rpm and it uses 2.2 cubic inches of air for each revolution of the three cylinders so hopefully in the long run, my calculations will be correct. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, if you've looked at my other videos, you'll notice that I use an old lawnmower body with car tires in the rear to, to use for my experiments and testing. I don't have, like I said, a, a carbon fiber tank right now, so somewhere down the road, hopefully I'll be able to buy one that would 
allow pressures up to 4,500 or 5,000 psi, which then should make the distance considerably more, even with using larger cylinders and heavier vehicles. I looked on the internet and priced some of the tanks, and they're running between six and seven thousand dollars for a tank that's 21 inches diameter and 60 inches tall. So if I can ever do that, then hopefully I'll be able to put it in my pickup truck, which I've been wanting to do all along. I did find out that on flat ground, on concrete, it takes 22 foot-pounds of torque on the axle to make the truck roll or to start out. So going through the uh, five-speed transmission, there shouldn't be any problem with having enough power and torque to uh, make the vehicle go. I just won't know what it will do on the road going up hills and going down hills. Hopefully that'll kind of even out and give a, a good long distance. So that's kind of about it for today. If you have any specific questions, I could certainly use them and you could answer. And I hope you do follow along and become a subscriber. I could use the support. So until next time, thank you and goodbye.